What's up guys, you're watching Johnny Faz and today we're working on our LS53 Turbo Datsun build and today we are working on our hot side turbo kit and we're going to be installing uh, some waste gates on the hot side. We have two since it's a divided T6 turbo so we have two waste gates and uh, this is how it's going to come out. Uh, we already got this one tacked in and we've got to finish up on this side but we wanted to show you guys uh, what we're doing and how we're doing it. So we're going to get into it. So this is our uh, wastegate. It's a tile 44 millimeter um, and we're probably going to place it uh, symmetrical to the other side. So I'm going to get some measurements and then we're going to use this two inch hole saw and uh, hole saw it out. Alright so I just hole sawed out this hole and then I made up a little wedge piece uh, that way I can mount my wastegate on there so I'm gonna go ahead and tack this um, and then I can tack the flange on and then we can take all this part and weld it uh, and clean it up from the metal shavings so yep gonna go ahead and tack this on and make sure this is in the right spot and then we'll pull it off and weld it So I went ahead and tacked the wastegate flanges on and um, onto the hot side and then I made this up out of a U-bend. I cut it the top off and then cut it in half. Um, gives it kind of like that teardrop look. I left it long for now so I'm just going to tack it on here. Um, depending on what we're going to do with the hood, I can trim it down so it's nice and flush or just leave it long. and get the uh, exhaust out of the way um, so it's not interfering with anything so to get all the heat out so I'm probably just going to tack that on for now and then uh, well we can fully weld it once we decide on the height and so now I'm going to start taking this off and then we can fully weld it Alright you guys, so I got the wastegates uh, flanges fully welded on, um, went ahead and TIG welded it all the way around uh, on both sides and then we started wrapping the headers in this uh, header wrap. Um, so we got this side wrapped up and then we're going to be uh, wrapping this side and then uh, should be ready to uh, put back on the car. So we got the wrap on and it comes with these clamps here um, for the ends or wherever you think there might be a loose spot. Um, it comes with this tool um, and the way we use it, I'm not sure if it's the right way or not, but I just wrap it up um, in here, the end, in the slot. And then I just use like a screwdriver and pry on, on the tool. And turn it and pry on it. You can see it tighten it down on there. And then I just trim it again. Fold it over. And then do that on this one too.
Alright, so we got our crossover tube all wrapped with the wastegates welded on. We're going to put the turbo on the gasket um, on the bench. <coughs> and then since the front end's uh, removed, we can just <coughs> slide it on and uh, be banded on a little bit simpler. And so I'm going to put the turbo on right now. All right, guys, so we just wrapped up um, assembling our hot side. We got our turbo on, and we went ahead and got the front end uh, put back on uh, with our intercooler and radiator. Got our uh, water lines hooked back up, and uh, pretty much got the uh, car put back together. Should be the last time uh, putting it back together uh, as far as for right now. So, yeah, we went... Uh, Got these wastegates mounted and they look good uh, position wise and uh, everything's fully welded and so I hope you guys enjoyed this video on getting these installed and uh, working on our dots and build. So go ahead and like, comment and subscribe and uh, go f check out our old dots and videos.